I'm Georgia. We're Allie and Georgia of Cooking Channels, tripping out with Allie and Georgia. We're going to make you a 4th of July cocktail that you will serve to your guests and then they will love you forever. Mm -hmm. But it's an Independence Day cocktail, so we're liberating you from the toil of making something hard. So we're going to start with a classic American spirit, bourbon. Bourbon is an American spirit. Did you know that? Bourbon is made only in America, in Kentucky. An ounce and a half of bourbon in a shaker to three ounces of lemonade. Lemonade is sweet. It's a little bit sour. Perfect in cocktails. We're each going to put about a tablespoon of our favorite jam in here. You're like, wait, jam? Excuse me, what are you doing with that? I'm putting it in a cocktail. Hold on. Here's the thing with the jam cocktails. They're really big right now. I love them because it's fruit. There's a little bit of sweetness in this. It gives it this really beautiful velvety texture, and it's in right now. So you can just say, listen, get off my back. Jam cocktails are a thing. The last thing you have to add is bitters. And I know some people don't like bitters in a cocktail, but what you don't like is too much bitters in a cocktail, yeah. which is very easy to do. This is not going to give you a crazy bitter taste. It's just going to round the cocktail out a little bit. Shake it up. Really hard, though. Like for a while. And what's cool about this drink as well is that you can pretty much use any spirit you have on here. So if you only have tequila and only like tequila, or if you like gin and and you only have gin, you can use that instead of whiskey, bourbon. bourbon. Yeah, you could do this with like tequila and peach preserves with same amount of lemonade, a little bitters. So good. It's so easy. I'm so excited for us. To um, Independence Day? To Independence Day. To Independence from the kitchen Yay. and from work for 24 hours.